Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing a review of the latest feature released by AI SEO, which allows you to generate high quality and unique images in which you can use in your website, in your blog, or in your content. As we all know, some of these AI art generation tools can be a hit or miss. So let's go ahead and look at some examples and do a deep review of this tool to see if we're able to get high quality images that we can use in our content. If you wanted to try this tool out for yourself, just head over to art.aiseo.ai and you'll be able to try this out for completely free. I believe there's a couple of free uh, credits in which you get. Uh, so you don't need to pay for this tool in order to start using it. And if you like the tool, you can get a lifetime deal from AppSumo. So for $59, you'll get 800 credits per month. So that means that you can um, do up to 800 searches um, per month. Each credit will equal a search. So every time you search up an image or you describe an image in which you would like to generate, that will be counted as a credit. So you have 800 search or lookups each month that you have um, if you get the lifetime deal. So that's quite a lot. You also get the image reversal feature and you also get access to all of the community images. So if you head over to AI SEO, you'll be able to see um, all of the images that were already generated by users. So you'll be able to have access to all of these images if you get the lifetime deal. And we can see that they have some pretty good reviews overall. It's a 4.5 out of five. And if you went ahead and look through the reviews, you can see that people are pretty happy um, with this tool. So if you wanted to go ahead and grab the lifetime deal, I'll leave a link below this video. Generating images using AI SEO art is pretty easy. All you have to do is describe the image in which you like to generate in this section, click generate, and the AI will then go ahead and take that information and create a unique image for you. And you can also specify what type of image you would like to generate. So for instance, if you're doing photography, you wanna go ahead and select that, or a portrait specific image, concept art, architecture, fashion, 3D, video games, graphic design, wallpaper, and cinematic. And let's say we wanted to generate an aerial view of a rainforest for an image. So all you have to do is go ahead and search that up. And as you can see, you already started getting some images even though you haven't completed your search um, query as yet. So once you're completed your search term, go ahead and click generate. And as you can see, you have some images here in which you can use. So these are actually pretty good for what I searched up. So again, we wanted an aerial view of a rainforest. So just go ahead and scroll through and whichever one you like the best, uh, go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, you'll be able to scroll through uh, and check some other images. And if you wanna go ahead and download that, just go ahead and click the download button. Now you can also go ahead and change the image size. So if you want a more horizontal or vertical image, you can go ahead and make those changes in this section here. And you also have the option to use the autocomplete prompt with the AI. So if you're not sure exactly how to describe your image, just start writing and then select this feature and this will go ahead and autocomplete your search query. So for instance, if you wanted to go ahead and get an image about a dirt road, but we're not sure exactly how to describe that, just go ahead and click autocomplete. And as you can see, we get some very specific photography um, input here by the AI. Not sure exactly what all of those means, but hopefully we'll be able to get a high quality image. Okay, so let's go ahead and scroll down. So this is the image which we got back from the AI. Um, these are some of the community images. So I like that you have the option to use um, either the generated image or you can go ahead and just use um, what was already generated by the community. And these are all copy free images in which you can use within your content. And if you like an image, you can go ahead and enhance that image. We see here that it was upscaled. So this is the original image and this is the upscaled image. It looks a little bit bigger. Um, quality looks kind of the same, maybe a little bit better, not sure. And if you like those images, you can download the regular or the HD version of that image. So let's go ahead and try a different category. We'll try wallpaper and try to get some images in which you can actually use within a blog post. So let's go ahead and try to generate an image about a man working on a laptop. And again, these are the community images. And if you go ahead and take a look at this, they're not too bad. If you've used any other AI art generation tools, you know that there's some issues um, at times with the faces and creating human-like images in which you can use in a blog post. But as we can see here, these community images are pretty good and you might be able to get away um, with using this within a blog post or in your content. So this is an image of Walter White on his laptop. Again, not too bad. Um, you might be able to use that within your blog post. So let's go ahead and click generate and see what we'll get from this AI. Okay, so again, not a bad image. Um, if you wanna go ahead and enhance that, you can go ahead and click enhance. Not bad by any means. Um, you would be able to definitely use this within um, your content. We can see here that the fingers look a little bit weird, um, but the facial features are not too bad. Um, again, if you really, really look at the image and you can see the imperfections, but if this sort of looking at it from far away, it's not too bad. 
I find that these tools are much better at generating art rather than images. So for instance, you can use these images um, within a comic book um, if you're creating content around video games or if you're creating abstract art. But when it comes to actually generating images in which you can use within a blog post, it's a little bit harder to generate those types of images. But I still think that this is a pretty high quality tool. It's very, very quick for you to uh, generate the type of images in which you're looking for. So I highly recommend that you go out and try this tool for yourself. Just head over to art.aiseo.ai and you'll be able to start playing around with this for completely free. And if you like it, then I recommend going ahead and getting the lifetime deal from AppSumo. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you learned or found something new that you can use within your own business. As always, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.